you ever wondered how to use escape rooms in the classroom? Well, today I want to show you how to play the Halloween escape room game, Escaping the Zombies. This is a math game that I have for grades one through five in my TPT shop, but I want to show you how to play it and how it can be fun to engage with your students. Escape room games are a great way to get kids excited about learning while reviewing content. So let's see how this works. As a teacher, after I've already cut everything out and put it together, it's now time to put the clues around the room. So the students start with this, which is the story outline that gets them set up for the escape room. Then they have their first clue and their different clue cards. They don't have to have the QR codes on them, but that just is another element that makes this fun. Then you have the secret decoder that will come in handy with different clues in the game. Now I put little sticky notes on here so that it was easy for me to know where to hide these. So let's go hide them. are working in groups together and they'll read this clue and they'll determine which envelope they're going to open and so they read this clue and they open this and they say oh well what's in here and it will lead them to another clue and help them decide which one to open next and as they go through here oh this one they're going to need the secret decoder so they're going to have to line up this shape with this specific number to figure out their clue here and then they'll come to their last clue in this set and they actually have a fun emoji secret code and they will solve the question and the emoji code to see where the next clue is hidden once they've found all of the clues and answered all of them, that's when they try and find the last clue. For example, here's the next clue that they've found. This one was hidden underneath a math book. The students open it up and they decide which one they're going to open next by using their secret decoder And then they decide which one to open next and which envelope and clue to do. Then they'll go to the next clue. Eventually, students get the congratulations page and they've won the game.